and who wants what. They all are against, you know, freedom. They all want to take away your rights. So you are allowing them to do that by the way you think and by giving up uh, your energy. If you protect yourself and you deprogram yourself and you connect to the God mind within, then they cannot do that. And what That's about absolutely. the idea? What about the idea that there are some positive uh, beings that may be, in essence, fighting on our side for our sovereignty? Do you believe in that at all? I don't believe in that. Uh, first of all, if that was true, we wouldn't be in the circumstance we're in right now. Second of all, enlightened beings, if you will, or those who have a, a, a good good uh, intentions, don't interfere because they know that you're taking away the learning process of a civilization by interfering that way. So they allow each civilization to develop on their own, good and bad, until they come to a point where they have stabilized and know who and what they are. Then they communicate. But for beings to come and interfere, you know, that's like someone banging on your door and saying, hey, I think there's trouble in your house. I'm here to fix it for you. Move out of the way. You know, would you let that person in? Absolutely not. Well, why would you let some alien being uh, take over your mind and your body because they're here to so-called help you when you don't know what their agenda is? Okay. And uh, now we could go to a break or we can continue uh, to, to the, for the last half hour if you like. There are some questions here that people are asking me. The way this uh, radio station works is that people are not able to call in directly. They, um, they actually type their information or their question into a Skype. Uh, or into the, the chat for the radio show, which um, you yourself can see if you if you like. Uh, but I can go down and, and answer or ask you some of these questions that uh, people would like answered uh, for the last half hour, if that would be all right with you. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Um, so there is someone asking... What is the significance of the bump around 2012 when traveling into the future? What do you think that is exactly? Well, personally, I think that is an Illuminati uh, marker, if you will. Uh, they're able to put uh, these markers in certain points in time and space to block people from seeing beyond it. Um, however, there is a beyond 2012. I, I will guarantee everybody that uh, if you're alive on 20, December 21st, 2012, you'll see the next day, no problem. Okay. And uh, I guess somebody wants to know why the sexual rituals, uh, maybe you want to go into that a bit more. Sure. Um, sexual energy is the most powerful energy in creation. In fact, uh, I talk about it in my book, True Reality of Sexuality, that the act or sensation of orgasm is comes from the mind of God when it released energy into creation and created all that is. That's what we constantly create when we feel a desire to have sexual activity. And so the Illuminati take this and they create formulas with that sexual energy in order to create a certain outcome based on the genetics and energies of those individuals involved in the ritual. They put certain people in the ritual with a certain mix of energy to create a certain outcome. It's like a recipe. Um, different rituals create different outcomes, and there's so, so many different ones that they use. And unfortunately, they use it to create energy, to manipulate events on the earth, uh, and to, uh, to push mind patterns in a certain direction so that their agenda can be accomplished. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, what do you think about channelers like Bashar? I don't know if you're well, familiar with Bashar. Again, I don't, like, okay, I don't like to comment on the works of other people, but I will say that channeling in general is mind control and programming. That is an altar within the subconscious mind, which is triggered by satellite transmission, to spew out certain information. Um, channeling is like carjacking, okay? Just like you wouldn't let someone use your car and just grab the, you know, and drive away with it because they're going on a mission. You're not going to give your body over to someone or something you don't know really who or what it is in order to uh, transmit information. And so don't, my, my suggestion is, and you can take it or leave it, uh, channeling is not a good thing. It is basically a control system in order to give information to the public from the Illuminati. 
And yes, they spew out love, light, and peace all the time because that is the opposite of what's going on. And by the time you realize that it's all a bunch of malarkey, it's too late to change it. Okay. Uh, there's another question here. A person is asking me, how come you know so much as the projects are normally highly compartmentalized? Do you get, uh, where do you get your information? I thought I, I explained all of that. I spent 13 years in the Montauk project. That was a very pervasive project that connected to many, many other projects. And from my contacts there, I have known people who were involved in many other military operations, both in this country and elsewhere. And because of my family's connection to the Soviet Union, I had a lot of information from that country as well. Um, and uh, that's how I got my information. You know, I think it's very interesting uh, that people comment about that, um, that I know so much, but I don't know everything. And I don't claim to know everything. <laughs> Um, well, it's, like it is true that there is a fair amount of compartmentalization, and I think that, that this person is, is sort of looking at, at Montauk as a black, a traditional black project when, it, in fact, it was a lot more um, far-reaching than and, and kind of a seed project that resulted in the black projects. Yeah, I, I think yeah. maybe people aren't, aren't maybe aware of that in terms of lineage. But um, I, I am curious, uh, are you aware of, I mean, certainly you know about the paperclip program. Are yeah, you also yeah. aware that the Nazis, in essence, are, are, are some of the people that are running the country at this time? Oh, yes, absolutely correct. Um, in fact, the Bush family has very strong connections to the Nazis. Right. Uh, most of, you know, most of the, the, the real uh, leaders in the Nazi uh, group were brought to this country and Canada and Britain uh, to continue the work, and they did. And do you believe that Obama is a um, from from one of those families? Well, yes. You know, uh, his mother is white. You know, quite honestly, I don't want to insult anybody. I, I find it curious it's called, the way they call him black. He is not black. He is he is half black. Uh, his mother is a white woman who had connections to uh, Illuminati families, um, and basically he's a setup. He's a setup because. Um, He's in charge of now bringing the United States into the North American Union, uh, the, basically the destruction of the United States as you know it, uh, into the formation of, like what you see in the EU, all the countries really under one umbrella. Same thing will happen here and is happening in North America. Well, do you believe that the, like, for example, this year or even this summer, as some people are saying, that the economy will collapse and that we will be going to, uh, to war with Iran? Oh, I agree. In fact, if you read my website, I write about that almost daily. Absolutely correct. Okay, and and certainly you, you're uh, welcome to tell people your website. Oh, expansions.com, and I have Q and A on there, daily news updates, and of course my books and DVDs are there as well. Okay, and uh, also in terms of the future uh, plans to possibly. Be at war with China. Are you aware of those? Yes, I've heard of those plans. But I also know that the Illuminati plan to use the Chinese army as a global army because there are so many of them and considered to be expendable. So I feel that the Chinese will be used globally uh, and actually have already been stationed in many countries. They're in Africa. They're in Central America, South America already. Um, and that's already a fact. They, they're becoming a global army. Uh, will there be a war between China and the U.S.? I don't think there will be a war, no. Um, I think um, that is just uh, the public consumption uh, before uh, the North American Union takes hold, and then uh, we're going to see a lot of different scenarios involving China. Uh, because my feeling is uh, that China will actually uh, be hopeful to the world at some point in the future when their government changes to become more uh, uh, people-friendly, let's put it that way. Okay, and, and when, when I was talking about the super soldier program, I was also wondering, are you aware of the, the, uh, the robotic beings that they've been creating and that apparently uh, there's, well, there's at least... 
I've heard numbers of like 150,000 created here in the United States being held underground.